Good morning, Calvary Chapel, Murfreesboro. The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field. This tells us we're dealing with a metaphor, something that our Lord often uses. One important rule of metaphors is to not press them, meaning don't try to read too much into it. Just understand the point that the speaker is trying to make. However, there's an aspect of this metaphor that I would like to draw out, and I hope it's not pressing, so bear with me. It's the concept of the kingdom of heaven being hidden in a field. Christ is everywhere. In the Old Testament, he was concealed, but he's all through it. And in our life, he's all through it. He's in creation that we observe. He's also in our very existence, the breath in our lungs and the beating of our heart. He's in the song on the radio and the movement of people around us. Now, I don't mean this sort of pantheistic God is all matter. What I mean is God is working through his creation and through you at all times to produce good results. Christ is preeminent in your life, whether you realize it or not. Sometimes he's a little more obvious than others. But if you pray to the Holy Spirit and seek diligently to see him, you will. You will see him in all the nooks and crannies of your life. He will be revealed as preeminent. His touch will be felt when you're longing for it, when you're sensitive to it. Christ is a step back often so that he's not imposing his will on us. He's, as C.S. Lewis says, trying to woo us, not ravish us. But if you desire him too, you will find him in all of the different ways that he chooses to present himself to you. And that is a wonderful thing indeed, because then we can worship him and rejoice in him all the more. God bless everyone. See you next week.